Welcome to the lesson on cardiogenic shock. In this video, we'll discuss recognizing cardiogenic shock. Cardiogenic shock is caused by inadequate contractility of the heart. One of the key differences between hypovolemic and cardiogenic shock is the work of breathing. In both cases, there will be tachypnea, but in hypovolemic shock, the effort of breathing is only mildly increased. However, in cardiogenic shock, the work of breathing is often significantly increased as evidenced by grunts, nasal flaring, and the use of accessory thorax muscles. Additionally, since the heart is pumping ineffectively, blood remains in the pulmonary vasculature. This causes pulmonary congestion and edema, which can clinically be heard as crackles in the lungs and visualized as jugular vein distension. In cardiogenic shock, pulses are often weak, capillary refill is slow, extremities are cool and cyanotic, and there may be a decrease in the level of consciousness. This concludes our lesson on cardiogenic shock. Next, we'll review obstructive shock. 